In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a URL field in Salesforce. I go over the setup and how to move it around on the page. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a URL or, or link field inside of Salesforce. So in this instance or in this example video, I'm gonna be doing this for our cases area. So if I just head over to our cases object and then to a record on our cases, what I wanna do is add a URL that will allow us to track documentation relating to this particular case. Okay, so we're gonna create documentation and we're gonna link or paste the link for that document into our cases, okay? Of course, this can be applied to any area of your Salesforce system for any use case, but hopefully this will be a good example. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner and go to the setup page, okay? And then from here, what we wanna do is go to objects and fields under platform tools, objects and fields, and then go to object manager. Now, using the quick find on the far right hand side, or you can scroll through, we wanna go ahead and find our cases object or whichever object you are going to be creating a URL column or a URL field for. So as you can see, I've got my case object. On this page here, we then wanna to go to the field and relationships. And what we wanna do is go ahead and press the new button on the far right hand side. You're likely to be presented with this screen here. The back end of Salesforce is still operating on Salesforce Classic. The front end is on Salesforce Lightning. So we need to go into the Salesforce Classic. It's not an issue at all. So go ahead and press click here to open this page in Salesforce Classic. And as you can see, we've got a list of different field options. Now, as we are creating a URL field, we wanna go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, we've got a URL field option here. So what you all you need to do is go ahead and tick that option. And then from there, go ahead and press the next button in the bottom right hand corner. And then from here, all we need to do is give our field a name. So I'm just gonna call this case documentation. And then what's gonna happen if I give the field label, the, the field name is gonna be automatically populated. Now I can add a description for this particular field if I need to. Um, and I can also add help text. So when someone hovers over the eye next to that particular field, it will give them instructions on what they need to do. So it's up to you if you wanna use either of these two fields. Now we can also add a required or make this particular field required. That means that when a new case record is created, it cannot be saved without this information being filled in or being populated with something, okay? Now in this particular instance, I do not wanna do that, but there are use cases where you might wanna look at using this. Now I would leave the auto add customer report type ticked. This field will be added to any customer reports that you are running for cases. And then we've got the formula and default values. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. So once you're happy, just go ahead and press the next button and you're then gonna be presented with this screen here. And this is where we can set up the security. So essentially, who has access to use this particular field and who can make changes to it? So as you can see, we've got all of the different profiles inside of Salesforce. So let's say for a standard user, we only want them to be able to read this particular field. We do not want them to be able to make any form of changes to it at all. We can go ahead and just select the read only. Or if we do not want the standard user to be able to see this field at all, we can just tick, untick visibility or visible and they won't be able to see it. And of course they won't be able to make any changes. But in this instance, I'm happy for them to see it and I'm happy for them to make changes to that particular field. So you can uh, update all of this information accordingly. Now, once you're happy with the uh, field level security setup, just press the next button again in the bottom right hand corner. And this is where we can decide which layouts this particular field is going to be added to. So if there are some layouts you do not want this particular field on, you can untick them, but I'm happy with all of the uh, layouts having this, this particular field. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the save button. And congratulations, you have now created a URL field. So if I now head back to our cases area up the top, and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page, we will now see if we go to details, our case documentation. And what I can then do is press the pencil button and I can put in a URL. So www.crmcrew.co.uk. This would be a great website if you need help setting up your Salesforce system. So once you're happy, just go ahead and press save. And as you can see, we've added a URL 
to our Salesforce page or to our cases page. Now, one additional thing, if you're not happy with where this particular field is positioned on this particular layout, I'm gonna show you how to change that now. All we need to do is head back to the cases area. So we go to cases and then what we wanna do is scroll under customize and we wanna look for the cases object or whichever object you'd like to make changes to. So in this instance, it's cases. And what we wanna do is go to page layouts, as you can see here, select page layouts, and then we want to go ahead and edit the page layout. In this instance, it will be the case feed layout. So go ahead and press edit. And as you can see here, it is exactly the same, literally identical to what your um, to what your case page would normally look like. And we can go ahead and make changes very, very easily. So this is the field that we've just created. It's just a case of dragging it and dropping it and repositioning it to different areas of the layout. Once you're happy, just scroll to the top, press the save button, and then head back to your main page, press the refresh button, and we will see here when we go back to details that that particular field has been moved to the additional information area. So hopefully this video was of value and I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you now have your URL field set up inside of Salesforce. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.